And the same question has come back to haunt the people of Pondicherry. In 1989, the government built a fishing harbour in the Union Territory by manually constructing two 250 metre long walls that jutted out into the sea. But a lack of follow-ups to minimise the impact of this human intervention has left the people of Pondicherry poorer. They've lost access to a beach that was right at their doorstep. 30-year-old Devika has sleepless nights. The sounds of the waves remind her that any moment, the rest of her home may be washed away. The CMC Kupam Beach that her home is built on has eroded 100 meters in three years, taking half her home with it. The erosion, the direct effect of the building of this fisherman's harbor, 10 kilometers away. With the natural flow of sand blocked by the groins, the portion of the beach on the other side of the harbour began receding. Anticipating this problem as a countermeasure to the erosion, the government even set up a sand bypassing plant, or a system that collects sand from the southern side of the harbour and pumps it on the northern side where the beach is receding. But the system has been lying unused for 10 years now. 20 years ago, this entire stretch of land used to be a beach. Kids used to play cricket here, and local Pondicherryans used to go for their early morning walks. Now, 10 kilometers on the north side of the harbor, the beach has eroded, so much so that the government has been forced to spend over 40 crores of rupees to lay down all these rocks here, which act as a protective wall to prevent further erosion. Now, a 2,700 crore deep water port has been proposed to be built in Pondicherry, which residents fear could exacerbate the problem. When we know that a small project causes cause so much of problem. How, what, what are the impacts which will happen when a project which is 10 times bigger comes? The port developers say these fears are baseless. They say they've even factored in the rebuilding of the beach as part of their setup costs. We have to do dredging. We have to do dredging. We have to do sand. We have to do sand here. We have to do sea. We have to do sea. So we have to do that if we are building it, we will create it again. Once bitten, twice shy, the people of Pondicherry appear to have little faith in the promises of either infrastructure developers or their own government. Given the impact of recent development projects on their beaches, they now seem to think that the safer solution is to just say no. Every state, every stop, it's a story of neglect. Save India's course continues tomorrow night, same time, different place. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free, ndtv.com slash apps.